Castro's passing is easing the minds of some people who endure pain and suffering during his time as president. Our Todd McDermott was the first local anchor to visit Cuba shortly after President Obama issued his executive order to open the country up to America. He has the story from Miami. The headline the Miami Herald tells the story, but it's a little bit like Mardi Gras, a little bit like New Year's Eve here in Little Havana on Calle Ocho celebrating the death of Fidel Castro. While historians might try to remember him as some kind of political titan of the 20th century and his fight for communism, these people here, Cuban Americans, will remember him as a brutal dictator. And they hope his death means new life for Cuba. As the celebration of the death of a dictator rolls toward the 24-hour mark, Cuban Americans in Miami's Little Havana hope they are witnessing the beginning of the end of his regime. They converge on Calle Ocho all night, all day, now all the next night, without a tear being shed for 90-year-old Fidel Castro. My parents who are now dead are celebrating in heaven that this man is finally gone. This is just the best thing that could have ever happened to Cuba. Castro, die, it's beautiful. Live it, live it, by Cuba. Live it, by Cuba. Beautiful day. For younger people here, Fidel Castro may be an ancient, almost quaint political caricature. Their parents and grandparents remember the political prisoners, the executions, and the families stripped of their wealth and forced to flee their island home. Too many years, too many lives have, have been decimated, and it's a sad moment because of all the casualties, but it's a happy moment for most of us, for all of us. When I traveled to Havana just weeks after President Obama opened the diplomatic and economic door nearly two years ago, there was so much hope among the Cubans that a new day and new freedom were coming. Maybe change is coming. We need it. We need it desperately. We all need it. Now, as the Cubans' brothers, sisters, and cousins celebrate Castro's death in Miami, there is even more hope that change is coming. I'm sad that a man died, but very happy the devil went home. But believing that the death of Fidel may mean a new day dawning for Cuba may be a bit of a dream, at least for the time being. Even as he has been consolidating his power, Raul Castro has developed a relationship with President Obama that may not last when President Trump takes office. But one thing is sure, Raul Castro is in power. For now, the Cuban people prepare for nine days of mourning. Fidel Castro will be buried December 4th. The Miami Herald also says it in Spanish as well. Castro is dead. In Little Havana, I'm Todd McDermott, WPBF 25 News.